Now, in our last video, we were able to uh, buy a domain, okay? Yeah, through the tutorial, we were able to buy a new domain as low as 70 cities or six dollars okay now i'm going to show you how you can after you have changed and also we learned about how to change the name server okay so now we're going to look at how to connect or link okay you see that connect let's say map your domain to your purpose and server okay so in order to do that let me show you how you can do that okay so straight away go to let's first of all copy the domain name or if you have it uh if you know if you know the name you can just go there and type it but i don't have so let me come back here so first of all i've, I've copied the name of the domain i will come back here to my hosting platform okay let me see let me refresh the page before i will continue okay i'm still in okay so click uh add web domain now after that add it you can type it all because uh we have added a name server when you add a domain check this d dns support and maybe you may decide to create domain later so then because of that you have to also select this okay after that go straight and click save and wait for a while and let's see what will happen okay good it's successful now let's go back here but please don't follow my tutorial as i said after paying for the domain when you change the name server wait for about two hours to three hours before you can add your domain or after you pay for the domain when you finish changing the name server you can go straight and add the domain but it will not work for you you will have to relax and wait when you add the domain you get a successful message but it you will be able to open it to see for instance uh this is the gig when i click here i can see this you see uh, the ss certificate is not active okay so i think this is not about the ss certificates i think uh, it has to do with google okay so uh, i have to contact them and let them know why they have uh, put a red flag on this domain okay because there is no website on this domain okay yes so i will check on that so okay and because of that i think i wanted to activate the ss certificate but uh google they have put a red flag but i can still work with a different uh what do you call it a different browser okay if uh, chrome browser is not working for me right now let me use chrome browser here and you see it work hey uh, what do you call it that is this one is a uh, is not a chrome browser but you see over here it's working okay uh it's google that is causing that problem but i will contact them so that they can remove the refrag from this domain okay so now i'm going to as you can see the ss certificate is not active okay when you click here you see not your connection to this site is not secure and uh, let's look at how to resolve that so in order to solve that come back here click here the pencil icon as we did in the first one okay then go to enable ss certificate check the three of them okay and then click save as i said if you just bought this domain this will not work for you because you have to wait for about two hours you can add a domain right but you have to wait for about two hours before before you can activate the ss certificate okay yes i mean it okay so now it's successful let me go back here so let me open this browser again and now i can refresh the page and we'll have the paradox sign here as you can see when i click there then we have connection is secure okay so everything is good i'm good to go okay okay so let me close that okay so this tutorial is about how to add your domain to your hstr dashboard thank you for watching bye bye